engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to Excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to design and simulate open loop control DC DC flyback converter in MATLAB simulink software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. Flyback converter is a power supply topology that uses mutually coupled inductor to store energy when current passes through and releasing the energy when the, pa the power is removed. It is a back and boost converter with inductor split to form and transformer so that the voltage ratio are multiplied with additional advantage of isolation. This is our flyback circuit diagram. We have our voltage input. We have our linear transformer. We have our MOSFET. We have our diode. We have our capacitor and we have resistor. This is our flyback operation when the, the switch is on and when the switch is off. You can just follow. Our equations, we have a number of 10 there. And you have our voltage output, which is go to V input times the efficient the number of 10 times diode uh, duty cycle divided by one minus duty cycle. This is our closed loop control DC DC flyback converter in MATLAB Simulink software. Now let's delete our closed loop control to develop an open loop control. If you want to learn in detail how to develop a closed loop control DC DC flyback converter, you can check our previous video. We just need the output voltage and the output current. Now let's get our pulse generated. Let's edit the model. Now let's change our parameters. Here is where it will be our period, which is one over frequency. Our frequency is 35,000. And here is the duty. It represents duty cycle, which determines the output voltage.
let me just introduce each component here is our linear transformer you can check in detail our previous video how to set the parameters here we have our diodes we didn't change anything our capacitor that's the value the our resistor and our MOSFET we didn't change anything at all now let's run please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our content comment and like this video our input voltage is 30 as you can see our output voltage 8 point something now let's play around with duty cycle which determines the output voltage let's run again it will increase as you can see it increased as we continue play around the duty cycle can increase or, de or in decrease our voltage thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our contents comment and like this video